Churches miss the opportunity to rally around what Jesus wants because they spend their time rallying around things that other churches can't, like music type or something, or, or dress code, or time that they have a service, or Bible translations, or to drink, smoke, or chew, or date girls who do. You understand what I'm saying? Is that you, you, you cannot complete one prayer unless you agree that I'm going to get around the feet of Jesus with every church that will get there with me, and we're going to get on Jesus and head out and honor his one prayer in John chapter 17 is that we be one. And then in Luke we just read, he said, told us how to do it. He's like, there's one thing that matters, and that's me first, you at my feet, and you know what? The kitchen will take care of itself. The details will take care of itself. The important stuff will happen when you put me first is what he's telling us. We want to cooperate with churches all over the planet to get back to Jesus. I don't care if you are a kitchen lady or not. I don't care if you wear a suit or a T-shirt. I don't care if you meet at 10 or 2. I don't care if your music is modern or traditional. I don't care if you have this or that or this kind of paint or that kind of paint. If you'll get around Jesus and focus on the one thing that matters, it's almost impossible not to fulfill his one prayer that we'd all be one. We're in a war here for souls. We're not in a war against each other. I don't think it's any argument that it is really ridiculous sometimes the level of competition and the level of silliness that you see some churches trying to outdo each other. Some churches uh, don't want to do this because that church did that, and that church don't want to do that, cause the, and, it's, and it's really silly, and some of you maybe have seen it. And Jesus' prayer we see here, he's like, that's not my plan. That's not what I wanted for you. That's not what all the churches in the world that my plan for them was, is that you be together and that you be one. And, and if you notice what he says there at the end of that prayer or the end of that portion that we read is so that people will know that that's happening, and therefore the product of that is that people will believe in the name of Jesus. And I would suggest that there's a lot of people who do not care to believe in Jesus or care to be a part of Jesus because they see churches not being one, churches not being together, churches not cooperating. For we must be willing to set aside things that are negotiable. We must be willing to set aside things that are negotiable and rally around the supreme thing that is not negotiable, and that is Jesus, because Jesus is the way to heaven. Jesus is the only thing that matters. It's rallying around Jesus is what really matters. And at the end of the day, when we all depart from here and gather in that place that we can't wait to get to, there will be one thing that matters, Jesus.